everyone. Happy Hump Day and welcome to my stamp studio. I'm Beth Maxwell, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So each Wednesday I come to you live to do a quick card, something a little crafty wise during your lunch break. Hope you're able to join me and uh, if you are watching live, say hi. Let me know you're there, what you're eating for lunch today. And if you're watching a replay, I would love for you to just comment replay uh, so that I just know that someone's out there watching. Now, each week I do this and I then copy it up to YouTube. So for your friends that aren't on Facebook or maybe don't do, uh, you know, a lot of Facebook activities, have them go over to my YouTube channel. It's my stamp studio and uh, have them subscribe to my channel and click notify so they get notified. Um, all the... Um, all the products I'm going to use today are going to be listed in the comments of this video. And let's see, what else do I have? Uh, we're going to be featuring the Colorful Kaleidoscope. <clears throat> Colorful Kaleidoscope. Um, I'm sorry, I can't get to my Facebook page here. Colorful Kaleidoscope Kit. Hello, how many times can I say that? Same thing, right? All right. Let's see. There we go. There I'm live. All right. So. There we go. There I'm live. Oh, right. Hello, Beth. How are you today? All right. Let's just go one more place and I will get started. <sighs> there we go. Oh, well, that post didn't work. So no wonder. <laughs> I was expecting to see a post and I was kind of thrown off that I didn't see it. So I was thinking that my lie wasn't working here. All right. Let's get going because we are on lunch break, right? So today I'm featuring the Colorful Kaleidoscope Kit. It is one of Stampin' Up's all-inclusive kits. And what does that mean? It means you get all the supplies that you need to make nine fabulous cards. Uh, some are card projects, some are other kinds of projects. Uh, you can go online in my Stampin' Up store and see all the different kits available. I'm going to open up the kit so you can see what's in there. And then we are going to make an alter alternative card today. All right. So in your kit, you have a stamp set. And let me just get a piece of paper here so you can actually see that stamp set. All right. So you get a little photopolymer stamp set. You get a stampin' spot. It's a one inch stampin' spot. You get a block and whatever adhesives and embellishments you need to create your cards are all included in the kit. So every time you get a kit, you will get a new block. So just saying. Hi, Dan. And then you have all the materials you need to create nine cards. Now, I'm not going to be doing these cards today. Like I said, I'm going to be doing an alternative, but I just want you to show, see the products that are in there. You also have adhesive sheets. You have some uh, glue dots, and then you have these awesome laser cut dies to make your cards. So these are pretty incredible. I'll kind of give you a little bit of a layout of one of them so you can kind of see what it's all about. And also all the labels that you need are there as well. In addition, most people just don't even think about this. There is a piece of cardboard here. You can use this actually as a mat to stamp on. So you don't even need a special table or anything to cover your table. Use this as your um, scrap paper, so to speak, so you can stamp off your images. And that's all included. So wherever you go, if you go on vacation and just know you'll have a little downtime, need something to do, these are great things for it. So I'm going to get out one of the layers here and I'll show you quickly how some of this is put together. So for example, here's your card base, white on the inside, so you don't have to worry about having any extra card stock. And then you take your laser die cut and you're going to pop it up right off the front of here. So that would be your first card. It's going to be uh, popped up just a little bit, but look how fun that is. All right, I'm going to put these things aside. I am going to be using the sentiments here. And I'm also going to be using one of the envelopes because, as you all know, I like to cut apart my envelopes. I have a piece of uh, gray granite cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of Knight of Navy, which is four inches by five and a quarter. And then a piece of basic white for the inside of my card, which is four inches by five and a quarter. <clears throat> so I'm also going to be pulling in another stamp set. I'm going to pull in the Go To Greeting stamp set because I want to do a birthday card. I'm going to also pull in our Happy Labels Punch. Now, this punch actually comes as a bundle 
with the Happy Label stamp set, or you can purchase these individually. I will have the link to um, all the products that I'm going to use in the comments, and if you're watching on YouTube, it will be in the description. I also have pulled in my Knight of Navy stamp pad. On the back of every kit, it tells you the coordinating colors, and Knight of Navy is one of those color coordinating colors. I've also pulled in my brushed metallic adhesive dots. Now, <clears throat> these are um, in our annual catalog. They are carrying over. Um, the ones in the kit are the gold, but I just decided to pull this in because I'm going to be using that kit over there for a display. And then I'm pulling in some Knight of Navy ribbon. All right, so let's get my block here. Let's first start off with cutting apart our envelope. Now this one, a little tricky, it's not completely patterned, so I'm going to go ahead and start up here, and I'm going to cut off the little edge here. All right, and I'm going to turn it, and I'll cut off the edge again on the other side. All right, this allows me then to open up my card here. Oops. And I also need this one inch by three and a quarter inch scrap of white. All right, so here's what your envelope looks like when you cut it open. So you can use this piece for a card layer as well as this. We're going to be using this right here in the middle. So we'll go ahead and, <clears throat> and trim this down. I know that ribbon is really pretty. And the ribbon that Beth is referring to is the um, bordered ribbon. It's Knight of Navy. <clears throat> it's got kind of a different look to it really pretty um i believe this is carrying over let me just take a quick look at my catalog here oh i don't have my catalog handy oh yes i do i'd love to show you the catalog i can show you the catalog front woo, but i can't show you anything inside yet so this new catalog becomes active on may 2nd now i am doing a vendor fair this weekend so if you are local to me stop by the vendor fair i have it posted on facebook on where it is and you can get a catalog. If you're one of my current customers and placed to order in the last six months, I have one set aside for you already. And it is in the new catalog. So I have it set aside for you already. All right. So I'm going to go right here, right where that score line is. We're going to trim that piece off. And then I'm going to come over here. And let's just cut this side off. Right there, and then we'll trim this down. And let's see, I'm gonna end up with a piece that's we're gonna go five inches here. All right, throw all these little pieces away, I don't need those. Okay, so that's five by about three and a quarter. All right, let's grab in our Knight of Navy here. So I'm just going to put this right on here like that. You know, I'm going to put it off to this side because what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my ribbon around. So this is just a quick and easy card. I'm going to grab my seal here. Put my cardstock right on the front. Take my Knight of Navy ribbon here. This ribbon is so pretty. I'm going to tie a little bow. Hold on. I've got myself backwards here. I don't know what I did there. <clears throat> there we go. All right, I'm going to tie my bow. Oh, I did it the same way again. All right, we'll just cut that off. I got way longer piece than I needed, but that's all right. I love Stampin' Up! kits. They are just, it's so nice to be able to create without having to think and, you know, figure out, oh, what am I going to do? What paper am I going to use? What stamp set am I going to use? I can just pull a kit up and just use it just like it is, and I don't have to do a whole lot with it. All right, I am going to pull in some dimensionals because I do like to give my card a little pop. Now, there are dimensionals in that kit. So I'm going to put one right over here along the edge so that my ribbon stays in place. I really want my ribbon to kind of hide where I've cut it there. So this will help keep it in place. Right. 
And we'll peel all those off and put it right to my card base. So here's my gray granite card base. Make sure I had it going the right way. And we're just going to center this right in the front, just like that. I'm going to pull in my little scrap here. Again, it's one inch by three and a quarter. And on the front of this, I'm going to pull in my go-to greetings, and I'm going to stamp happy birthday. So here is my happy birthday that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to stamp it in Night of Navy. I'm going to just center it right on that strip. Oopsie. I pressed too hard into my stamp pad. So now i got to clean that. What did I do with my cleaners? Yep. We'll just flip that piece of cardstock over. So I'm going to gently tap in there. Make sure I don't have little ink images around the outside. Little halo images. We don't want that on our card. Clean that off. I'm just going to leave that open because I'm going to use that in a minute again. I'm going to bring in my Happy Labels punch. Now, this is a great punch because you can make six different size punches out of here. So this first layer right here is a half an inch. The second level is three quarters inch and that top level is a one inch. So I can slide this one in just like that. I like to flip it over, especially when I'm using a piece that's not quite one inch. And I like to make sure that I'm centered there. So there we go. I'm going to flip it the other way. Slide that in. Again, I'm going to center it really quick. There we go. And now I have a nice little label here. So I'm going to be putting that right in the front. I'm going to tuck that right in under my bow. So I really didn't even have to do the one side, but I did anyways. And I'm just going to take some of my ribbon here. My ribbon. Oh, you know. You know what this stuff is. My dimensionals. And we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of here. So I'll put one over here. One right here. A little strip right here. And again, I'm just using my scraps of leftover dimensionals. I'm going to slide that right underneath my ribbon. So I've got my little happy birthday right in front. We're going to bring in this card base here. And I'm going to now bring this stamp set in. And we have happy birthday and wishing you a magical birthday. And then may your day be filled with light and laughter or light and love so i'm going to grab this one i'm just going to grab another block here oh my goodness things are a fallen all right so i picked that one up i'm going to make sure it's centered here actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick it up at an angle like that we're going to grab in the other sentiment here Probably should have done that one first. All right. Let me grab an actual square block here. Oh, where are my blocks? There we go. All right. So I'm going to pick this one up at an angle. And then this one, I'm going to pick it up. So it's going to be centered right above. All right. And I'm just going to grab any scrap of paper that I have handy here. Oh, let's see. Okay, right here. And the only reason I'm grabbing a scrap here is I just want to stamp that just to make sure I have it all lined up. And it looks pretty good. So now we'll go ahead and stamp that right in the center. All right. Close up our stamp pad. And we're going to grab some adhesive again and put that in the inside. Just like that. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring in, let's see, I had that scrap. So I have this scrap here, but notice it has some um, adhesive right there. I don't want that adhesive. So what I'm going to actually do, I'm going to trim off that adhesive. 
I want to see how well this is going to fit on my envelope. So I'm going to grab in a white envelope here. And I can just actually adhere that there or I'm going to adhere it along the bottom of my envelope. Even though I have a white strip there, I still have a really pretty envelope by doing that. So let's go ahead and just add our adhesive. I'm going to add my adhesive all the way around. Ooh, it's really sticking to my fingers there. All right. I'm going to line that up on here. Kind of with that bottom tab. Okay, I didn't line that up real well, but okay. Now what I'm going to come back and do is I'm going to cut off the excess. I don't have a lot of excess on here, so. So yeah, so you can save all those pieces. You can use them all the time. All right. So now we have our card and our envelope. Let's get our little embellishments on there, and we can call it a day. All right. So grab my take a pick tool here. I'm gonna grab these gold embellishments. I think I'm gonna put one right here. And then I went over here. And then I want to stay with gold. So let's grab out another gold here. And we'll use a larger one. Oop. Right over here. Okay. So quick little fun, quick little alternative. So you don't always have to make the exact cards that are in the kit. Once you've used a lot of your supplies, you have a lot of things left over. So there we go. This is a way to get more out of your kit. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great lunch and have a great rest of the week. I will be live tomorrow night at 644 for Stampin' Fun and More. Tomorrow night we're going to be working with our um, Rhino Ready stamp set. Oh yeah, it's going to be cute. So make sure you join me 644 at my stamp studio. And again, if you're not... <clears throat> on Facebook, I will up be uploading that to YouTube as well. All right, take care.